So before we begin this tutorial, I just want to say that this tutorial works with all Blender templates so you don't have to worry about it not working. The first thing that you need to do is download a free program called Blender. There is no viruses so you don't have to worry about that. The next thing that you need to do is find an intro template that you want to edit. You can find a lot of templates on the Top Free Templates website as well as the Top Free Templates YouTube channel. All the intros are free to download so choose one then open up Blender. So once you open up Blender this will be the page that you will see. So to open up your intro all you just need to do is go to the file and then open and then find wherever you saved your intro. So I saved mine on my desktop and then Blender intros and then it's right here. So you just need to click on it and then go to open Blender file and now you've opened up your Blender intro. So in order to change the text, all you just need to do is right click on the text and then click tab backspace and then type in whatever you want to type in. So I'm just going to type in top free templates and then click tab again. Some intro templates will require you to do this two times because there are sometimes two text layers so you have to do it to both layers. So now if you wanted to change the font, all you just need to do is head over to the F icon here, click on it and then scroll down a little bit and then you should see this font drop down menu. Make sure that it's open. So now you can see the font that's already selected. In order to remove this font, all you just need to do is just click the X beside it and then click on the folder here to load up a new font. So whichever hard drive that your Windows operating system is installed in, that's where you need to go to. So for me, that's installed in my C hard drive and then I go down to Windows and then fonts right here. So from here, now you can select any font that you want and I'm just gonna select the font that I want. Once you found the font that you want, all you just need to do is just click on it and then click on open font and now we've changed the font. So if you wanted to change the color of the text, all you just need to do is right click on the text and then make your way over to this sphere icon right here that's beside the F and make sure this material is selected. If it's not selected, all you just need to do is just click on it and if we just go down a little bit, you can see this diffuse tab here just click on the color here and now you can change the color of the text so let's just say i wanted to change the color to red i just go to red and now the intro is red so now everything looks good and it's time to render our intro so to render your intro all you just need to do is go to this camera icon here click on it and then scroll down a little bit and you should see this output folder right here so here you need to change the output of the, your intro template so just click on the folder here and then select wherever you want to save it I'm going to save it on my desktop and then Blender renders and in this slot right here you can name it whatever you want. So I'm just going to name this Blender intro and then you just click accept. So the next thing that you need to do is scroll down a little bit again and make sure that this format is on MPEG and then if you just go down a little bit more you should see this encoding drop down menu. Select it and then scroll down a little bit and make sure that this format is MPEG-4 and then scroll down a little bit more and make sure that this audio codec is MP3. So once you've made sure that all the settings are good now you have to render your intro. So you can either scroll up a little bit and then click this render animation button right here or go to render animation and now your animation will start to render now what you want to do is you want to uh you want to go ahead and go into the after effects part so this is going to be included in the folder too so double click on the after effects part so guys now i am in after effects and it should look something like this and it should say file missing when you start the uh, uh the after effects because we have one file missing and we're gonna replace that with the one that we just made. What you wanna do is you wanna click on the template folder and it should drop down a menu and you should it should drop down this two things and you wanna replace this colorful thing, the PNG. Right click on it and then go on to replace footage and then click on file. So once you have done that, go wherever you saved your intro. I'm gonna select that file and click on open so guys once you have loaded your footage in after effects now there's one more thing to do and that is to export or render your video and that's really easy all you have to do is you just have to go to your composition and from there click on add to render queue and once you click here it should appear this kind of window should appear and make sure that it is on best settings and lossless and then you want to click where it says output and then um you can save it on your desktop documents applications anywhere you want it to be uh and the file format is going to be in a dot uh, movie quicktime movie so uh don't worry you can upload it to youtube or edit it in other editing software so now what you want to do is name it whatever you want and just click on save and then from uh here you want to click on render 
and it should start rendering and it's gonna take like 10 minutes or something depending on the speed of your computer and yeah i'll see you in the next video